Hi there, my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. I'm glad you're here. We're going to do a little nail and chat session. So I hope you enjoy. Click that subscribe button, like the video. Let's go. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm not going to do a prompt a card in this video simply because I'm going to be talking a lot and maybe something that I talk about might give you inspiration to leave a comment below about whatever it is that I'm going to talk about. To be honest, I don't really have much in mind, so I'm going to wing it. But we are going to prep my nails for vacation. I'm not going to put them on in this video. I'm actually not going to put them on until right before we leave for vacation, just so that they're as fresh as possible. But I am totally vacation mind right now. We leave in 11 days and I am so ready. Just... I'm vacation mind. So we're just going to go with that. Originally, I was going to do a DIY video um, for my daughter's Attack on Titan binder, but I think we all are in vacation mode because she hasn't even given me any images yet. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with where my heart is. And right now it's being in vacation. So I figured I can kill two birds with one stone and this is something I wanted to do before vacation came and um, I can make a video with you guys and we can chat and talk and go from there so with that said hi <laughs> hi everyone hope you guys are doing well I don't know how your week has been going or your weekend your holiday weekend if you're in America um, but mine is going pretty good, I think. I will be making these nails. These are already prepped and to the length and size and they fit my nails right and all of that. So I did all of that first before I started this video just so it wouldn't be too long, you know. Um, but we will be painting these and I'm going to do a black base coat. And then I'm going to probably use one of these. I haven't decided which yet. I like the idea of the black with, you know, hints of pink in them, but also going on vacation. I don't know why, but this color always screams to me for vacation. But then I found this too, and that was really, really pretty. Um, it's got some blues and hues in it, but I don't know how well it would show up on a black nail. Um, but it is really pretty. So I don't know. I'm not exactly sure which of these foils I'm going to use to toss a little pop of color on my black nails. I guess I will figure that out when we get to that point. So I just thought that we could chat while I paint and get this job done. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to start with a base coat from my Beatles gel polish. And I do have my LED lamp right here for when I get them all done. But in the meantime, oh goodness, I can't even open this. Okay. In the meantime, I wanted to just talk about things. Um, since I am definitely going on vacation very soon, I thought maybe I could talk about... Um, our plans of, of action, if you will, on what we are going to be doing to prepare. We go, we have gone on vacation every single year um, since we've been married, like 23 years. We have gone on vacation every single year except the year of COVID. So 2019. No, not 2019, 2020, we didn't go anywhere, which really was sad, but, you know, um, my hubby works really, really hard, so I just feel like having one vacation a year is definitely needed, you know, not everything can be just paying bills and work to live type of thing, we need to play. We need to have some fun. So we do it every year and having three kids for the majority of those years um, 
we've learned a few things or two about how to um, pack efficiently and quickly. <laughs> and that's the truth, especially when you have three children that you're also packing for. Um, so we've learned the art of using bins. They're like, uh, not long, but deep bins. And we have four of them, and so far that has seemed to be the magic number. So we have these four bins, and one we use for all the kids' clothes, and we always just pack enough for half of the vacation with the intent to wash all clothes halfway through. So for us, that's about five outfits, and... So everybody packs five outfits that they need, and um, halfway through the vacation, we'll do a, a wash of everybody's clothes, and then you just re-wear them. It makes packing a little bit easier as well. So all the kids' clothes can fit into one bin, which is nice, and then my husband and I share a bin for our clothes and toiletries and shoes and whatnot. And then we have one bin that we use for um, toiletries and um, like any appliances, if you will, that we're taking. So like if we're taking a hair dryer or hair straightener or a tea maker, sometimes we've done that if we know that the place we're going doesn't have one. Or um, just like this time we're going to be bringing a waffle maker. So it just all the appliances and toiletries will go in there. And we usually bring everything that we need as far as like toilet paper and paper towels and dishwash detergent and laundry detergent. We bring all of that with us and all of that fits in that one bin. So it's nice. We don't have to buy that while we're there and so <clears throat> that leaves one extra bin and we will usually use that extra bin let's go ahead and set that we usually use the last bin for any um, dry goods from our kitchen so that we don't run the risk of anything going bad and we can just use those things while we are on vacation so any kind of like snacks that we still have or um, even like pastas or things that we have on hand we can bring and just utilize for our dinners and our meals and our snacks there um, so we'll just load up one of those bins with all of the snacks and things that we can bring that will lower the cost of grocery shopping while we're there so that's four bins. And then, um, depending on the cars that we take or whatever, we have a, what is that thing called? The, the thing that hooks up to the back um, part of the car. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it holds things. Um, it's almost like a little shelf that just hangs off the back of your car. And we can stack those bins two by two. And then my hubby goes one further and just puts some bungee cords around everything so that it's secure and it doesn't move or budge. And um, that means, you know, that leaves open our trunk space for um, other things. So just pillows, blankets that we bring. Um... We bring some fans as well because we all like to sleep with fans on at night for some reason. White noise helps so much. Um, what else? Like, oh, any kind of beach gear that we have. So we're going to be bringing a few beach chairs and maybe a big beach tent just to have a big shadowy space on the beach to hang out under. Um, but all of that can fit in the trunk or bed of the truck um, without, you know, the bins taking up too much space because it has its own compartment to sit on. Um, 
but yeah we've pretty much got it to an art to be honest we've done this every year for 23 years so we kind of know how to make this as efficient and quick as possible and we just know what we're doing what about you guys do you have like your own ways of packing and getting ready for vacation oh another thing that we do every year which I thought it was funny my girls mentioned it to me this year for the first time but every year before we go on vacation I love to have my house completely clean um, because life in general just makes your house dirty but we keep like the main living spaces and stuff pretty clean always um, but they can get messy in the bedrooms or bathrooms or whatever. You know, we don't do like that whole deep cleaning very often because I'm just not that stickler of, of things for some reason, but I'm, I'm, I have no regrets. <laughs> I'm living my life. But before vacation, I don't know why I, it's almost like nesting. I want my house to be completely clean and beautiful and just looking and smelling fresh so that when we get back home we want to be there because there's just there's just something about if you come back home to a messy house you're just like oh back to reality back to the mess but if I come home and my house is so pretty and so clean smelling good and there's nothing to do except for unpack and that's just, that's the nicest thing to me. I, it makes me look forward to coming home instead of dreading it after a nice vacation. So that's something that I have done like practically the entire time that we have been doing this vacation thing to where it's like we, we have to clean. We have to clean the house. All bedrooms have to be clean. All sheets need to be washed. So that we come home to nice clean sheets. Um, yeah. And so my girls told me this year was like, I'm excited, but I know I'll get more excited when we start cleaning. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. I'm like, so you're saying that you associate the full house clean with going on vacation? And they're like, yeah, of course. So... That was funny. I didn't even realize that that was something that I have made them associate with vacation was the whole house clean <laughs> that we do. So that was cute. Do you guys have anything that you do um, prior to leaving to prepare for vacation? I know for me, like, we have been coloring hair getting our hair colored, cut, looking fresh. Um, me and my girls, we like to play with hair color a lot. And um, we are very, I don't know, we, we like the bright colors. We like to experiment with different techniques and unique ways of applying color. So it'll be interesting this year how our hair turns out. I'm actually going to be doing my girl's hair right after this video. So I'm anxious to see how it turns out. We've already done some bleach on their hair um, because the colors that they were wanting to go kind of needed a little bit of a lighter base to really pop and show. So we did that last week, and then I like to let their hair settle for a while before we actually apply any color, because, you know, bleach can be damaging. So I've let them chill with that for about a week, and now they are ready for color. So I'm going to do their hair today, and we'll see how it goes. That gives us about 11 days to fix anything that didn't maybe turn out the way we wanted it to. But hopefully it does. And that'll be cool. Um, so that's another thing that we do. Usually we do before we go is we just do a full on hair overhaul. So that we have fresh cool hair for photos and 
fun and I don't know just something that we do so I don't know maybe we're weird so right now I'm just putting on the very first layer of the black as you can see so I'll pop this on and just let it cure fully and then I will do a second coat of black but I won't let that cure fully I'll only do like 30 seconds um, and that's when we will use the foils that way the foil will stick I still don't know what color I want to do for some reason teal like a teal blue just I think beach I really do but the pink was calling out to me too so I really don't know what color I'm going to do I wish this was kind of live so I could kind of get a vote from everyone <laughs> but it's not I thought about it would you guys ever watch a live if you were available to watch a live I think I need to close this up we're good with the base coat so anyway what else what else are we doing other than I need to do my vacation binder with you guys which will be next Friday or you know this upcoming Friday I'm really looking forward to that um, I know last year a lot of comments on the vacation binder was concern for taking so much cash and um, not leaving it in the bank um, because you run the risk of obviously it getting stolen or you know lost or whatever um, but I don't know I just always feel more comfortable taking cash because if the cash gets stolen the cash gets stolen it's not my card you know it's um, I don't know I just feel safer that way and also I mean I guess I understand using a card because if somebody stole your card you could just have it frozen or whatever but then how would you pay for anything after that because your card is gone so what do you do you, it's not like the bank can mail you a card immediately to your location um yeah I don't know that's a that's a question right but for me, I like taking cash because, um, for one, it helps us better in keeping track of what we're spending. Um, with swiping a card, at least for when it comes to me and my hubby, it is so easy to just swipe and forget it. Like, you don't even sit there and track. Like, I have such a hard issue with that, with not tracking everything that we're spending, um, I don't know why I really really can't do it <laughs> and um, especially on vacation because that's the last thing I'm thinking of is like oh we swiped here we swiped let me write these down um, so I can figure out how much money we have left you know like I don't but when I have cash I can see how much money we have left there's that's just that and it's very helpful to stay within budget for me and my family when I have the cash there and I can see how much has been spent and how much is left for that category, that type of thing. Um, but on the other hand, I understand the fear of losing all that cash or having somebody steal it. Um, but I will say that the location that we're going on is uh, very, very secluded. It is it is you might as well call it a deserted island because it is so secluded last year we went to the same place and there was like nobody on the beach nobody we we rarely saw anyone um like at all um which is really cool i love having a beach like an entire beach by myself that's so cool and the cool thing is, is this place allows you to drive your golf cart, if you rent one, um, right on the beach. And cars too, but the cars have to be, like you have to get a permit or something. Um, but we rent a golf cart so that we can just 
ride right up to the beach and put all our stuff down. It's really cool. And um, there's just nobody there, like nobody. And it is so nice. It's just a very, very sleepy, tropical town that I don't think a lot of people know about. Um, and so the risk of actually having our stuff stolen or our money stolen is very, very low just because of the lack of traffic. Like there's no, um, what do you call it? There's no condos. It is not condos. It's all homes on the beach, on the beaches. Um, like not a single condo. It's all homes built by people who either rent them out or live in them themselves. And so it is a very, very quiet place to be. And I love it. And it's so refreshing. And yeah. So with that said, I, I feel more confident bringing cash um, to these places just because we're the we're not going to see very many people. <laughs> we're just not. Um, and I love it. But anyway, so when I do fill up my binder on Friday with you guys, I will be doing it in all cash. So all that cash that has the um, prop bills for $1,000 or $500, all of that will be reimbursed as cash and we will put them in their proper place in my vacation binder. So it's going to be thick, <laughs> but I'm going to love it. And I don't take like the whole thing with us, like when we do go out on the town or whatever. I will just take what I think we'll need so and put the rest in a safe or something there all right so first coat is done for both oops did I mess up yes go me let me fix this side really quick okay So now, before I get started with the second coat, I really need to decide. What do I want to... Oh, that's so pretty. Can you guys see that, like, fully? It is so pretty. I mean, it wouldn't look bad, that's for sure. It wouldn't stand out very well, but it wouldn't look bad. And I can just hit this with some pieces... Or I can go with the more minimal look. Or I can go completely different and do this pink, which is pretty too. Oh my gosh, I don't know. What should I do, guys? The choices. The choices are difficult. I think I do love this. It does have some of that blue in there and greens. Um, but is it too dark for vacation? Probably. So I might save this for another time just to try that out later after we get home. Um, but as far as what color to go here, <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. I'm thinking... I think I'll definitely go with my traditional blue. Because it'll match my bathing suit. So there's that. Now the question is, which one of these? I'm thinking this. It just has a lot more dimension. So, decision has been made. We'll do... We'll do this. We'll see how it comes out. I'm just going to do it, I'm just going to tap it all over, um, so there, it's going to be flakes all around with the black, but yeah, I think that's the one. Okay, 
So here's the fun part is doing 30 seconds on this and I'm only going to do one hand at a time. So I'll start with this hand. We'll do the second coat of black 30 seconds in. We'll pull it out and then we're going to tap, tap, tap. So let's do that. All right, so um, what else, what else? Oh goodness, you can probably hear my dog in the background. He likes to sniff at the door. I guess I can talk a little bit about like who I am and what we do, um, or not what we do, but like just more about me, I guess. I am 41. Am I 41? Yes, I'm 41. Totally mentally 19. 100%. I am a mom of three. And they are all older. So our oldest is 21. He's just a few, a couple months shy of turning 22. Um, oops, I just messed up my nail again. Um, he still lives at home with us, of course, and there's a good chance that he probably will always because he has high functioning autism and it's just something that we have come to terms with. So if he's with us forever, then he's with us forever and I'm okay with that. Um, he, he, he aspires to be a gaming streamer. And I shouldn't say aspires, he is actually doing it. He's got a group of people that he's met and become friends with, and they stream together every single week, so that's really cool. Um, we've set him up as best as we can with an entire streamer setup, and he is making things happen. So I'm very proud of him for that. And then my middle child, she is 17. She is two months away from turning 18, which is so weird to say. But, um, yeah, you see her sometimes, or you at least see her hands when she comes and checks out her Attack on Titan binder. So she is almost 18 years old, and she is not graduated yet, but she is very, very close to graduating. And, um, I'm not exactly sure what she wants to do for a career. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think she knows yet. And that's something I think I would like for her to figure out before she just starts going to college. I don't want her to be one of those career students who just keep changing their majors and spending way too much money while they try to figure themselves out. Um, I do know that she has been really interested in learning Japanese. So she's been teaching herself through various programs, um, how to speak and write Japanese, which is really cool. Um, I think that Right now, she's kind of leaning towards being a, an interpreter, um, which sounds really cool as well. So we'll see how that goes. And then my youngest, she is 16 right now. So yes, I technically have a 16 and a 17-year-old, um, but not for long because my 17-year-old will turn 18 very soon. But... She's 16. She just had her birthday, so she's brand new 16. And um, she obviously is still doing school. Let me put these in for 30 seconds. But she already knows what she wants to do for her career to an extent. She, she is really into graphic arts and um, drawing. She's really good at drawing anime, like incredibly good she could totally use that 
um, especially with how popular anime is right now, but, um, she could make posters. Like it's, it's incredible her work. So we did purchase, um, her some programs and some electronics that help her do her art more efficiently and she's building a portfolio it's really cool it must be cool to know what you want to be at 16 years old <laughs> or at least to have some general idea of what you want to do oh that's so pretty so this is all you do is you just tap in the foil onto your partially cured nail which gives it that stick factor and and you tap away until you are uh, thrilled oh man that's so pretty look at that that's gorgeous um, and then just until you're satisfied with the look of that so and then what I'll do is I'll just put this back in and let it cure the full way. Um, so for another probably 90 seconds, I think. And then I'll put a top coat over top of it so that it seals all of that in. Man, this is so pretty. I'm glad I chose this. This is a good color. I love this so much. Oh yeah. So anyway, back to my family and of course my hubby. We met when I was 15, um, but we stayed friends for a while before we actually started dating. So we didn't start dating until I was 16. Um, and then we dated for about two years or so. And um, waited for me to graduate high school. And once I graduated, um, we got engaged. And four months after our engagement, we got married. We didn't want to wait. We knew. We knew. And um, so, God, that, that, guys, tell me. That is so pretty. So I'll put this, I'll pop that back in for another 30 minutes, or 30 minutes, good God, 60 seconds, and then I'll probably do another 30 seconds just to be safe, and then um, I'll do this one, and then we'll top coat them both. Anyway, so we've been together for 25 years, 23 of those years this month um, will have been married, and we had kids immediately, obviously. Um, I think probably within six months of our marriage, we got pregnant with our son and the rest is history. Um, we've lived in the same house our entire life. We built this house when I was 19 years old and I was pregnant with our son and, um, yeah, we, we moved in and we have been here since and it has grown and we have renovated it and, made it grow with us, if you will. So literally everyone has their own bedroom. So that's nice. And we have, we have three bathrooms, but guys, my kids only use my bathroom. <laughs> we have, okay, granted, we have a really nice bathroom, but there's two perfectly good other bathrooms that they can use for showers. Like they'll use their bathrooms for using the bathroom, but Showers? No. Everybody comes to mine, and I'm like, guys, you have perfectly good showers. No, we like yours better. So, everybody uses my shower, and those showers in the other bathroom never get used. Yeah. But, anyway, I digress. So, I homeschool my kids. Um, I have homeschooled my kids since... My son was fourth grade, going into fifth grade, when I started homeschooling him, and the reason for that was we had him in a special school for children with special needs, and they kindly told us after his fourth grade year that he, um, he's 
gone through all of their curriculum that they have and, you know, being very kind and generous and just being very honest, they truly felt like him being there would hold him back because they just didn't have um, the type of advanced curriculum that he would need. Um, so we, and this was... I don't know. It was like, I had just months, just a couple of months to scramble and find another option. And I did not want to put him in public school. That is not something I wanted to do for him. Um, so I had checked a bunch of different, um, private schools and things like that. And it just, I had him actually enrolled in a private school and then was told two weeks before school started that, um, they wouldn't accept his voucher for some reason because he had a voucher with the state and, and, and it, that was two weeks before school started. Like, what was I supposed to do? And so I started freaking out a little bit and I'm like, I think I'm just going to have to homeschool him, but I don't know what I'm, you know, what I'm capable of doing myself. And so I started just scrambling to find what to do. And then I did find an online uh, public school, if you will, um, through K-12. And I was like, well, we'll just have to go with that and we'll see how he does. And so we did that for his fifth grade year and he actually did so good. I was so proud of him. Um, it was, I'm like incredible to see him work like I that's something I never got to see is him doing his studies and it was so bonding it was such a great bonding experience for us and so I homeschooled him his full fifth grade year and loved it and my girls at the time were were in kindergarten and first grade and um when they had off, like a lot of times he still had school. So it gave me a little bit of experience in seeing what it would look like having all three of them home. So I gave, you know, my girls things to do, like um, little lesson plans or whatever, just to test the waters on what homeschooling three kids would look like. And I just especially because of that specific year, the school here had like three different lockdowns for three very different reasons. And, um, the last one was I couldn't even go and get my kids. Like I was very upset about it. I understood why, um, apparently there was some man hanging around in the back yard of the school um, and it was very sus, and so they locked down the school campus. <sighs> but it was enough. It was enough for me to go, you know what? Mm -mm, I don't want my kids here. So I went to the school the last day of school, and I unenrolled them. And ever since then, I have been homeschooling all three of my kids, and it's been great. And I honestly think that it has made us more close, a close-knit family, um, and not being bound by the school. Um, we can color our hair any color we want. They can wear whatever clothes they want. It is, they don't have to ask to go to the bathroom. Like, I don't know. It's, it's definitely a vibe, and we can go on vacation when we want to, not having to ask for permission or write a note or get a doctor's note for any reason whatsoever, we are free. And we have taken studies on the road, um, which has been really cool. We've gone and seen things that a lot of kids probably just wouldn't see. Um, it's just, it's awesome. And I love it. And I have not regretted it since making that choice. So, and now that they have been in high school, I have chosen to put them in um, Penn Foster, which is an online school, and they do four years of high school credits, 
um, accredited and everything. They get transcripts, they get their diploma, all of that, um, so that if they choose to go to college, they have that there. And that's, that was a choice I made for them just so that they had the benefit of all of that. So that is what they're doing now, which is pretty cool. Um, but it gives me a lot more free time because before I was doing my own curriculum type of deal and now I'm letting them do it themselves. So hence the reason I decided to uh, start a YouTube channel because <laughs> I have idle hands and I don't want idle hands. So that's why I'm here. These are so pretty, like so pretty. I feel like, let's see, I want to put a little bit more blue here if I can, if it'll stick. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. They just, they look like the universe or something. Aren't they so pretty? All right, so I'm gonna put these in for the remainder of its time and we are done with the foil. See how easy that is? It's just so easy and they make them look so beautiful. And while those are curing, I'm gonna go ahead and do top coat on these, which is, I already got the top coat. I did that without even thinking, crazy. So fast forward to here and now the kids are, uh, my son has already graduated and he's just going full swing into his um, streaming ambitions, which we are all about. Um, and the girls are still doing their school, their last remaining bits of school until they graduate. And um, I just randomly came across I think it was pink X budget I think somehow or another it came into my suggested videos and I was like I don't even know why I clicked on it to be honest um, I don't know I had never watched a budgeting video in my life and to be honest I was not the great greatest budgeter either I was just like really over paying bills to be honest like I would put it off as long as I possibly could um, just because I hated doing it I hated paying bills I hated sitting down going to all the websites paying all the bills like it was just a process it was a chore I hated it and um, so that is definitely not my thing and I will have to say that YouTube got that one wrong. However, it was inspiring and it did change my life. So thank you, YouTube, even though I don't know why you suggested that video. And so watching her do her envelopes and I was like, wow, this is so relaxing to watch and it makes me want to try. It makes me want to try to do this way of budgeting to see if it will help motivate me better um, than what I am currently doing. So I bought some binders. I had to investigate where to get binders and all of that. Didn't even know those things existed. So I got those and then I was like, I kind of, I kind of for some reason want to make this a video. And just see what happens. Um, but I had nothing, like no setup stuff. Like I literally had nothing, and I had to make do with a box that I would lay my phone on <laughs> um, just to see. And I did that very first video, which don't even watch it because it's not even monetized. Um, but I did that very first video. <sighs> It was ridiculous. It I had to do it like five, I think. Five was the magic number. Five different times because there was always some kind of technical difficulty. Um, 
or something didn't happen right and um, it was mainly because like my phone was not taking the like it didn't have enough space or something so it was cutting off the video then one time it didn't even record the sound it, I don't know it was weird and then uh, it was just such a struggle I don't know why I didn't just give up but I kept trying I kept taking all the money back out and redoing it <laughs> it should have been a sign or something but I didn't take it as a sign I was determined so I just kept going I kept going until I finally got it to work and then um I had to teach myself to edit and figure out how to do all of that and then yeah the rest is history I'm glad I kept up with it because it really did change my life and here we are a year and a half later and I have more money saved than I've ever saved in my life which is sad to say and if you're young and you're watching this um just listen, hear me well. Start now. You, your older you, will not regret it. Okay, so that was the top coat of this one. I'm going to cure this for a hundred and I'll just do two, I'll do three sixties just to make sure. And then it should be done. And they'll look beautiful. And I'm not, like I said, not going to put them on until right before we leave for vacation. So all next videos you see, I'll still have my regular nails. So don't be expecting these to be on just yet. I want them to be as fresh as possible for vacation. Man, this, these are so pretty. I'm glad I chose this color. I probably would have loved all of them, actually. But this is like my favorite thing to do right now. That just looks like marble or something. I don't know. It looks so good. But anyway. What were we talking about? What was I talking about? Oh, this budgeting thing that's changed my life and making it a video. And now here we are. Almost 2,500 subscribers later. Probably by the time I put this video up, it might be 2,500. Which is crazy to think that there are 2,500 people out there who decided to subscribe. That's kind of cool. Thank you. <laughs> I hope this uh, video doesn't bore you and make you want to unsubscribe. <laughs> This is just something I needed to do, and I like to do nails every once in a while, and I thought maybe, maybe I would just take you guys along for my vacation nail ride, and in my vacation mind, bring y'all with me, and we do this together, and I chat, and I talk. So, um, what else can I talk about? There's a lot of stuff you guys probably don't know about me, like my name. I don't know why I'm kind of uncomfortable just putting that kind of stuff out there. Um, but I know that you guys know my name starts with a B if you look in my envelopes and the tabs or whatever. So I'm curious what you guys think my name might be. And if you're like my friend or my family member, which I don't even know if any of my family are subscribed, but I know... I know at least one of my friends has subscribed, but if you know my name, don't put it in there. <laughs> this is only for the people who don't. Um, but yeah, I'm curious what you guys think who I am. And yeah, so that's about all I can think of to talk about. We're very close to being done with these nails, so that's good. Um, but yep, I'm a mom, three kids trying to make it happen. One thing with this budgeting though, um, is making sure that the hubby gets on board because <laughs> I'll be like, do not swipe, please just get the cash and go get it. You know, like I can swipe if I want, uh, I mean, you can. I just, I'm just really trying to 
curb the swipe thing right now because of the fact that um, I think we're letting it get a little out of control and I think that I need to get a little bit more discipline definitely um, so I feel like if we can just get into the habit of paying with things with cash as much as possible when we can that would be the better option because like if we're here and then we go to the store why not just take the cash with us instead of swiping right and that way we don't overspend we know we only have this amount of money with us therefore we have to do that whereas if we just swipe we think um we'll figure that out later and I don't want to live that way that's what has gotten us into too many problems financially in the past and I don't want to do that so that's the only thing like how about you guys if you're a budgeter and you're doing this budgeting thing and you're married um, how's your spouse handling it are they right there on board full force or are you uh, having to basically drag him through it <laughs> or her drag him or her through it like I don't know I just I don't know I guess it's like dieting because I've been doing this low carb diet thing and it's not necessarily about dieting for me. It's more just a lifestyle change so that I don't get diabetes because I don't want it. And they told me at my last uh, checkup that I am pre-diabetic and I don't want to be diabetic. So I'm making this lifestyle change for myself. If I lose weight, that's great. If not, then that's fine. I'm doing it for the lifestyle change. So... Um, I've been doing that. My hubby is like, I'm getting on board with you. I don't want you to do this alone. Also, I could stand to lose some weight and be a little bit more healthy. So we're doing it together. And I'm like, that's great. I love that he can support me like that. I love it. Um, but he's not doing it as much as I am. <laughs> that man will put a hot dog bun on something. He will put some pasta in his bowl. Like last night we made um, chicken alfredo with broccoli and I made noodles to, to the side so that my kids could have that, that option. Um, but I made the sauce and the chicken um, separately and then I also made the broccoli separately because not everyone likes broccoli. So I did that. So it's basically like a chicken alfredo bar. And so I just got a bowl full of chicken with the Alfredo sauce and then I tossed broccoli in it and that was it. Um, he went full force, pasta and all, and I wasn't going to say anything cause I was just like, you know, he's not the one who's pre-diabetic. That's me. So I'm not going to say anything and you know, he can, he can live how he wants to live, but I just thought it was funny. <laughs> and and it's not fair that he can eat like that and then still lose weight. And I'm like, how is that fair? I don't lose weight easy. Maybe that's a female thing. But I don't. I don't lose weight easy at all. I think these were the ones that were done. Yeah. So just out of curiosity, I'm going to try this on. Not glue it on. It still has like some of this tacky here. But I just want to push it on. Of course, it'll look like it doesn't fit because the tacky is so thick. But let's just check this out. Oh, so pretty. Do you guys see this? Like, vacation nails. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'm weird. I'm sorry. Don't subscribe for that, please. <laughs> um, I'll do this one more 60 second just to make sure that we are all good um, but yeah look at this vacation nails done I'm so glad you guys joined me if you're still here and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button if you dare and um, just become part of the family I don't usually do nail videos I do budgeting videos so if you're here because you were looking for nails or this the thumbnail caught your eye or whatever and you didn't know that my channel is about budgeting well it is I do budgeting and 
I just encourage you guys to stick around, get some inspiration for yourself so that your budgeting journey can get started or continue, get some inspiration that way. Um, but I'd love to be your weekly inspiration. That's what I'm here for. It's why I'm doing it so that I can inspire others to get on track. Like I wish somebody had inspired me a long, long time ago, but maybe I can be that for somebody else. And with that said, we are done. Nails are completely done. I am ready nail wise for vacation. I still have quite a bit to do, but let's do one last look at these nails. Actually, you know what? Let me turn this light so that you can get a full sense of what they look like. Aren't they so pretty? It looks like a galaxy so dimensional something to look at so a lot of interest in these nails so pretty I just feel like you can't really even see how vibrant they really are in person but just trust these things are gorgeous they're done with nails thank you so so much for being here I appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Wednesday for our WTF Wednesday, of course. I'm looking forward to that. And then Friday, our vacation binder. We're going to be stuffing some cash into my vacation binder and getting ready for this vacation. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being with me on my journey, and I will see you on Wednesday. As always, until next time, bye.